Hello guys, welcome to the current series of JMeter tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are going to learn about JMeter sampler or you can say that JMeter HTTP request. So let us just quickly go to JMeter. So now here in JMeter, before starting off with anything, let me just discuss few things. What we have already done, right? So we are already done with a lot of things. We know that how we can record a script and using different, different tools and different, different ways. Then we also learned about how we can make use of Chrome developer tools and how we can make use of HAR to JMX for the recording of script, right? This was very basic. Now here in this particular video, what we would be doing is we would be generating the things on our own. So how, first of all, we would be needing a thread group. Then here in this thread group, we would be adding a sampler, a HTTP request sampler, right? Now, these are not the only things that we fill in. For example, this protocol, right? Server name, port number, right? Path. These are not the only things that we have to fill in. There are other things as well. For example, the request method, the content encoding, the parameters, right? So there are actually a lot of things, right? And number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, right? Seven. So there are a lot of things. But again, inside these, we have more data, right? For example, what if I would want to provide some advanced information, right? Now this is used in a very rare scenario where you may want to specify the proxy server, right? You can specify the proxy server here. All you need is to have the configuration received from your IT team and you can specify the configuration here, right? Now coming back to basics, let us just start working with it. Now the basic simplest example is this, suppose we would be going to this particular website that is say google.com right now here in google.com i'm searching for something right first let us just replicate this particular url now whenever you're opening something and that page is opening directly this means that the request type is get and all the things are mentioned over here directly are usable right for example we got the server name that is www.google.com but if you notice this url there is a https written as well now whenever there is a https written this means that the protocol is https and this also means that the port number is 443 by default now whenever there is a different port number you the port number would be shown something like this right so if it is something shown something like this, then you can copy the port number because the website is not on the usual port. It is being hosted on some different port. So make sure that is specifying this thing. Now coming back to JMeter, we have specified two things. We can specify this request name as Google Home. Right now I would look for something here in Google. Right. Say I would look for Apache JMeter, right? So we're looking up for Apache JMeter here. And if you notice this, there are a lot of things being sent. So usually now the browser send a say query information with a lot of things. So we can specify the query something like this. That is say Apache JMeter right so we are looking up for this thing now the thing is that we can replicate this request directly as well as you can see that i am able to request something over here right now how would we be able to do this work with this now so there are four different parts of data that we need to copy first one is this that is q equals to apache plus g meter copy this and add a new request and this one is Google search, right? Now you may have noticed something that I did not right click over the thread group and add this particular request. I just did something with my keyboard and it showed up over here. So the shortcut is control and one. So hit these key two keys together and you'll be adding a 
HTTP request directly. Now we have copied some data. What we can do is we can specify the data over here in the parameters with the request. Click on add from clipboard. The parameter name is Q and the data is Apache plus J meter. Right now, whenever we want to add a space, right, this is replicated by plus mark. So wherever you are specifying a space mark in the text, re simply re uh, replace it with plus mark. Right now, the next thing is the major U URL part that is HTTPS. The server name is www.google.com. The port number is again by default 443. But now we need to know the path. Coming back to this, you can see that there is something between the question mark and the first forward slash. Just copy this data. Right? So over here, I have copied this data. This means that this request is complete. And whenever you are specifying something, whenever you are able to see something like this on the page, that is question mark Q equals to Apache plus J meter. This again is a get request, right? Now about generating these requests. So yes, we can generate these requests. We can simply run this, right? Now it is asking me to save the test plan. So we won't be saving the test plan. Now learning about more things. Right. For example, I'm trying to log in somewhere and the simplest example is this. That is jmeter hyphen archive.org. So on this particular website, if we go to the login page, right? And let me open Chrome developer tools now. This is very important right now. Okay. So over here on this page, I would provide my credentials. So these are my credentials. What I'll do? I'll simply click on login. The moment I go to developer tools, you would see that there are a lot of requests going through, but the first request is having some data that we can use. So if you go to the headers, you would notice that the request type is post this time. And if you scroll down in the post, you can see that they are showing up my username and the password, right? So there is some data. How would we be able to handle this information now? Now over here, this is the URL, right? We, we, we need to divide it into multiple parts. And whenever the request method is get, we divide it into four parts or three parts, depending on the data we get. But whenever it is a post request, we just divide it into three parts. There is no fourth part. Okay. So now let us just copy the third part, which is the main part, right? I'm not ignoring the question mark login page as well. I'm just copying the content, right? Control one and this is jmeter archive login, right? And here, this is the third part. First part is HTTPS that we already know right HTTPS now the server name server name can be copied from here that is www.jmeter-archive.org right so this is also done the port number this is by default 443 you can cross check it here as well right okay so the protocol is HTTP I need to change few things the default port number would be 80 for that right so 80 and HTTP, right? Now this part is done. We need to specify the request method that is post. And here the main thing that is the data. Scroll down to the form data part, click on view source and there is some data. Simply copy the whole data and go back to JMeter and click on add from clipboard. So this is the data that you have copied. You can simply run this test and see the results, right? So this was for this video. This is how we can generate a HTTP sampler, right? Next thing that is say advanced part. That is the proxy part. You need to specify the proxy ser uh, server name that would be provided to you by your IT team with the port number. And if it is asking for username and the password, then you need to provide these two things as well. Okay. And we are done with this video. 
If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.